For materials, you need water, soil, seeds, scissors, a marker, some string, and two empty containers. I use water bottles. Step one, you're going to mark where to cut the bottles. You're going to cut the bottom off of one bottle and cut the top off of another. Pause the video so you can see what I mean. Save the pieces that you cut off. We'll use those later in the video. For this step, we're going to take the cover off of the top of the bottle and we're going to use the scissors to poke a hole in the cap. The hole only needs to be as big as the yarn or the string that you're using. Please ask for help when poking the hole, especially if you're using scissors. You should be able to see through the hole like this. Step four is threading the yarn or the string through the bottle cap, then putting the bottle cap back onto the bottle. The string is gonna be what waters your seeds. It's gonna go through the bottle, through the soil, and it will absorb the water that you put at the bottom of your biodome and suck the water up through the plants. So you can see in the video how the string has to be on both sides, at the top and the bottom of the bottle. Step five is trimming the yarn. You can see we have a lot of yarn on either end of the bottle here. We're just going to trim off some of the pieces because it's just too long. Your string at the end of the bottle cap needs to go into the reservoir and be long enough to touch the water. If there's extra there, it's not a big deal. The rest of the string has to be threaded through the bottle and make it all the way through the soil so that it reaches the top. You can see on the side, my son Owen is holding the string on the outside of the bottle. Step six is let's put some soil into our biodome. You can see in the video, I have the string in between my fingers and I'm holding it at the top of the bottle as I fill it with soil. The string can be in the middle or on the side, it doesn't really matter, as long as it goes all the way from the cap of the bottle all the way up to the top of the bottle so it can deliver water all the way through the soil. Okay, step seven, we get to plant our seeds. You can see that I've put water in the bottom reservoir, which is the second bottle that we cut. And now I've patted the soil down. I'm gonna take some of the marigold seeds that I harvested from the marigolds that I grew and planted last year. I'm gonna take three or four seeds and put them into the soil and then pat a couple more seeds in just for good measure. Then I'll cover them back up with soil you can see the seeds look sort of like a little paintbrush. That's one seed. As I sprinkle some of the seeds in, I'll put more soil on top, and then I'm gonna give it a little bit of water. Um, the water will be sucking up from the reservoir down at the bottom, but this soil has just come out of the bag and it's not as moist as I would like it to be to start the seeds um, growing. So I'm gonna put a little water over the top and then you'll be ready to go. Now you have your own biodome that we've just planted seeds into. It's got water in the bottom to actually water the plants. We're gonna put this cover that you cut off back onto the plant that will help make sort of a greenhouse, sort of a warm environment for those seeds to germinate in and start to grow. So just stick your cover down into it, put it into a sunny window where it can start to grow. As your plant starts to grow, you may need to take your greenhouse cover off to give more space for your plant to grow. Happy planting. Observe your plant each day. You could write or draw about what you notice. What connections can you make? Think about the ecosystem that you just created and how it is like our earth, the huge biodome we live on. There are there any connections that you can make between 
the living things, the seeds or the plants, to the non-living things like the soil, the water, the sunlight. Feel free to send me or Mrs. Colgan what you've discovered.